Welcome to the revolution. This is anonymous. This is a message for Minister Joe Paula and the rogues who run the African National Congress and South Africa. We will not comply. Joe, are you listening? We will not comply with your illicit, immoral, and illegal imposition and stretching of regulations and rules to make you comply with your unscientific mandates. We will not comply. Even the Nazis said they were only following orders. All my friends turn to foes. Look how easily they fold. Even Nazis say they were doing what they told. We will not comply. This has been anonymous. We will not comply. Hey, folks, welcome back to Chris Wyatt Reports. What can you say? These ghouls will try anything they possibly can to make South Africans suffer. I don't know which San Gomez they've turned to this time, but they'll find any straw they can grasp at. This government been telling lies. If you're not with us, you better step aside. The rules that they're using now, they could simply have applied two years ago without destroying people's lives and crushing the economy. Just hours before it was due to expire, illegally extended, by the way, there's nothing in the State of Disaster Act that allows the government to pick and choose 30 days for a grace period to keep their oppressive measures in place. Just hours before that fake, illegitimate 30-day period was to expire, that facial covering mandate was renewed, and it's now at the pleasure and the will of the Minister of Health. Only Joe Pala can drop the mandate now, and he can reimpose it at any time, any place that he wants. At will. The new mandate is powered by the communicable disease rules rather than the state of disaster. But in effect, it remains unchanged. Health Minister Joe Pala published amendments to health regulations on Wednesday night. Regulations, not law, not law, just hours before a 30 day set of illegitimate transitional rules put into place at the end of the state of disaster automatically lapsed. For, as I said, the practical effect of this is the two major restrictions on public life in South Africa, the mask mandate for indoor public spaces, illegitimate, illegal and immoral, and restrictions on gatherings, illegitimate, immoral, and economically crushing restrictions on, on gatherings remain unchanged, and they are still in place. As before, all gatherings are limited to 50% of the normal occupancy of the venue. No more than 1,000 people may gather indoors unless proof of jab or a negative test result is shown on entry. That number is set for 2,000 for outdoor gatherings. But that's not what the case was. We just had 20,000 people show up at a sports venue. So I suspect the media has gotten the story wrong, or we have an even more stringent requirement now. Now, the health minister can at any moment just go, all right, it's over. And then on a whim go, now given the nature of the corruption in the African National Congress, the pervasive theft, racketeering, and disregard for the rule of law. How long before this is abused? (laughs) This says that at any time after having made such a determination, the measures concerned are once again necessary to contain the spread of Verona and give notice of this determination in the Government Gazette, whereupon measures concerned will resume operation. So you will wear face mask into perpetuity, to which I say, we will not comply. We will not comply with the institution's sick illusion. This has been anonymous. We wish to kindly thank Chris White Reports for the use of their airtime. We will not comply.